and we appreciate her taking time out of her busy schedule. And we appreciate the fact that she's ready, fired up and ready to go. We thank God for that. Um, just as a, let me go back and give you a little bit on her, if you don't mind. Here we are. One moment. Oh, that's not what I want. I'm going to get it together. You got it. Let's let us start off by um, opening up in prayer. Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We thank you for just being God all by yourself. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for waking us up clothed and in our right mind with a reasonable portion of health and strength, ready to face this day with you as our God, leading us and guiding us in all ways of truth. We ask right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you come into this gathering. Have your way, oh God. We surrender everything unto you, Lord God. Lord God, we ask ask that you feed us your people through your anointed vessel, Lord God. And Lord God, we ask, Lord God, that we don't just take this home as our own golden nuggets, but that we also share these nuggets to yeah. others. We don't be hoarders of your word, but rather givers and ministers of your word. We thank you and we praise you. We give your name the honor and the glory is thine. In Jesus' name we pray. And they all said, Amen. All right. Who do we have with us today? We have a wonderful, wonderful woman of God. She is Minister Tamara Chappelle. She is the, I want to say what, the founder, the uh, creator, the, the executive a uh, member, the CEO of Exhaling in God's Arms. And just a little bit about her, Tamara Chappelle has been true to helping others reach the next level in life by feeding others with the word of God. With this, it inspired Tamara to become the founder of Exhaling in God's Arms. Exhaling in God's Arms is designed to create a great women's and children's ministry, which started, check this out, 13 years ago. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Excelling in God's Arms Foundation is based on the fruit of the spirit found over in Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Tamara's ministry is an outreach platform for diverse women to, to fellowship, sorry, and share their testimonies and to help someone who has similar or same experiences to get healed and to seek guidance. Tamara, a God-fearing woman, a mother of six, a daughter, a friend, she's definitely mine, a sister and true sister, licensed minister and licensed resource parent, which is known as foster parent, is dedicated to being true to Father God first and true to herself and others. She is a woman of encouragement while walking in faith and obedience to God and exemplifying the fruit of the spirit that was forementioned in Galatians 5, 22 through 23. At this time, I will say without further ado, I want to introduce to you all none other than our very own Minister Tamara Chappelle. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> At this time, Yes, at this time, Minister Tamara, we're going to just yield the floor to you. We want you to have your way. We want you to feed us, God's people. Amen. 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 So first off, I want to thank God for putting me in your spirit to call me out on your platforms. And I know I always call you out and you always there for me, you and your husband. And, you know, of course, accepting God's orange first more as myself, we truly, truly appreciate you in everything that you do. <clears throat> you call me, 
you um you asked me to speak on stay stay true to self. What does it mean to me? So I'm just going to give some information um, about why I start calling myself stay true to self. And first, it start off as in stay true. Uh, when I had my Instagram, it was titled stay true. And then I start putting, <clears throat> excuse me, stay true to self. So first off, I want to say stay true to, true to God first, then stay true to self. And that follows with you can be true to everyone else. That's the order Amen. that I follow for myself. Amen. So, Father, lead me. Guide me in every way that you want to use me on Melissa, Melissa's platform, Lord. Help others to receive this information and also not just receive it, but to apply it to their own lives as I did for myself. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, as I already explained, why I start calling, when I start calling myself, stay true, then stay true to self. Um, staying true to myself means to be honest, to be honest with myself first. Honest with myself first, no matter the person or the situation. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that, we always say yes, 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 yes. When sometimes we wanna say no, Yes. <laughs> there's many ways I can say no you know yeah even if it's your kids like Miss Melissa said I have six kids so sometimes I I would tell them yes and not now but um tell them yes and you know say no or even say maybe but what I've learned is let my yes be yes and my no be no and you can find that in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, 37. And I will be throwing scriptures out there. <clears throat> so please don't hesitate. Grab your pen and paper. Jot it down if you like. Or you can um, go back to the replay and gather the information. Um, so yes, please let your yes be yes and your no be no. Also always saying yes to others, but you really want to say no. Say, saying no is okay. Please believe me, it is okay. Don't, I don't have no regret saying no. Back then I would say no, and sometimes you'll feel some type of way. Like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. No, let it be no, let it be yes. And you keep going from there. Um, I also wanted to share, so first off, be honest with yourself, say yes, say no, and mean it. Staying true to myself allows me to flow through life, making my life simple. I love to live a simple life. For those who know me, <clears throat> I don't like to gather junk. I don't like to keep junk. I like to keep things simple, 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 if possible. So that's another thing that I, that stay true to self. It allows me to live a simple life and make my life smooth. It brings joy. It brings joy to me. Um, to know who I am and whose I am. That's the key. Because I was not always minister. And God's, God knows me best. Go, he knows me best. But we have to learn, like me and my friend Nakanda, um, who is my main partner with Excelling God's Arms, we did a meeting regarding unlearn to learn, unlearn to learn again. Some things you have to unlearn to learn again. You know, we learn things from our parents, our friends, our atmospheres, our teachers, friends, family, but we have to unlearn to learn again. So I know who I am. 
I'm not the same person who I was not even last year, I must say, because I myself personally evaluate myself every six months, twice a year, every six months. And it's good to do so because you can see how far you came. You can see where you are in life and whatever changes you decide to make, you can go forth, keep moving forward. I always say that for myself, keep moving forward. Um, so yes, I know who I am. I know whose I am. Um, <clears throat> I'm not just a mother of six, like Miss Melissa explained to you guys. I have six wonderful children. Two of them are young adults. I'm not only a sister, friend, cousin, daughter to my mother and father here on earth. I'm a daughter of the most high God, the most high God who's in heaven, who knows the plans he has for my life, okay? He knows the plan for your life as well. Plans to prosper me and not to harm me plans to give me hope and a future. You can find that in Jeremiah 29, 11, which is on my ring finger. My finger right here <laughs> follows me everywhere I go. <laughs> so I, um, I may explain this uh, where, when I purchased this, I was going through. And when I seen this, God spoke to me. So um, I want to share a little bit about when I was married, when um, I always, I look back, like I said, I evaluate myself every six months. And when I was married, I can consider myself staying true to myself. I was staying true to God no matter what, staying true to myself and staying true to my family. One, I went to college and received my bachelor's degree for criminal justice. You know, I hear a lot of people, um, men and women, say that, you know, because of this, because of that, they can't do this and they can't do that. Some things may be true. Don't get me wrong. Because me, I take care of my children 24-7. So some things, stand true to myself, I'm going to put to the side. But for me, I, that's what I wanted. But when I was there, Westwood College, I wasn't just going to get my degree. I was there praying for people, ministering to people, going to their homes. My friend Jennifer, Sister Marina and I, we would go to people's homes, my classmates. Would you come to my home and pray? God was using me then and still now today. Uh, so, you know, we think we're going for one thing and God said, here, I want you to do this, this, and that. And I would not dare say no. Um, I obeyed the voice of the Lord while I was married when he told me to bring the women together to bring to do ministry. Now, like I said, I was never like I am now back then. So when I heard the voice of the Lord, I said, are you sure? Are, am I? I'm asking myself, am I sure I'm hearing the voice of the Lord right? Because back in the days, for you guys who know Tamara and Chappelle, uh, clubbing, you know, just ha having fun as I saw having fun back then. Okay. Um, you catch me at a club today. You know, it's crazy. I was going to say, you catch me at a club today, you'll be shocked. But back then when I was in a club, I would take it was called winning the world for Christ back then. And I would take our flyers to the club and pass them out to try to capture some. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> so God was always, he's always with me. He was always with me. I'm, I'm so, man, I'm so grateful. Whew. So obeying the voice of the Lord would take you long way. Like Miss Melissa explained, Excelling and ex, uh, excelling God's arm started 13 years ago. Next year, June 14. So, um, yeah. So it's been 13 years ago. You are not the You are not the same. I want to tell you guys that you are not the same. 
Don't let nobody tell you different. You are not the same. Look in the mirror and tell yourself that every morning. I am not the same. And believe it. You are better. Never worse. You're better. So to share that part of my life, I've always stayed true to myself in the area of focusing on self for the better. After my marriage, I am divorced. My son, oh, 10 years. My son's birthday is on Kobe Day this month on the 23rd. Happy birthday. Um, I named myself Stay True, as I explained earlier. And I don't, I don't know why. I just that name just came to me and I posted on my Facebook. And I was telling Melissa that there was a young man, his name was Robert. And he seen me on Facebook and I was at a park and he was actually one of my friends on Facebook and I was at a park and he said, your name is Stay True. And I was like, oh, wow. You know, I never expect someone to come to me and say, not just say Tamara, but Stay True. So people watch. So be careful what you post on Facebook. Be careful what you post on social media. People watching. Okay, so yes, yeah, so that was after my divorce. I um, I named myself Stay True, then added Stay True to Self. I began to say no when I would when I would want to say yes when I don't supposed to say yes. So I will say no. Um, I relieve people from my life and not just myself, but God did as well, because people walk away, walk out of your life. And sometimes you wonder why, don't wonder why, just let it go. Just let it go and be happy. Because some of them folks, as Melissa will say, folks, <laughs> you didn't know I was gonna say that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> folks, let them go. Don't, don't worry, don't question it. Please believe me, do not question it. Just keep moving forward. Um, yes, yeah, so God, not only myself, will walk away and leave people alone and carry on with my life. But as I stated earlier, you will see people leave from your life as well. And please don't feel no regret when you say no, say yes, whatever the case may be, walk away, stay away. Don't feel no regret. I will do more things for self and other meaningful people. When those people, <clears throat> those meaningless people would fade away, it bring meaningful people in your life that will love you, that will be honest, that will be similar to you. And that would help you also to grow. Um, I love kids. That's a part of my ministry. Kids, women and children is my ministry. And kids, I wanted to share where, can you hear me, Melissa? Great, okay. The children, kids have pure hearts and they are honest. You know, some of us here, kids, just blurt out something that we may not even want to hear, but you know it's the truth, you know? So I love kids because they will keep it 100. Some people say 1,000, but they will keep it 100 with you. They know what they want. <laughs> they stay true to themselves. <laughs> they know what they want. Okay. So stay true to myself. Help me to have self-control. And you can find that in Galatians chapter 5, verse 23, which is what Melissa, Melissa say, foundation of excelling God's arm, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. But we're going to 23. Self-control. How self-control? I speak on this a lot because it really helped me <clears throat> to have self-control with my 
fundings. Okay, as women, we like to go shop. We're going to go in the store for one thing and come out with an old basket. So I learned to have self-control. Now, my son, which is his name, Trevino, for some of you guys know him. We call him Lil V. Um, he would go in the store with me. He'd say, Mom, you said we were coming in here for this, not for that. I'm like, okay, you're right. <laughs> My son, <laughs> uh, money management and time management is very, very important to me, very important. So that helps me to stay true to myself as I continue to take time and focus on how to manage fundings, how to manage my time, and how to manage, just have a balance in life. But that management in areas of your life will help you. Stay true to self allows other stay trues. I want to call Melissa one of the stay trues. I'm going to put that. That's a stay true. A good friend of mine. Stay trues to be in my circle, which is very few. I don't have a big old crowd, probably on Facebook. You know, but my main stay true, my stay true, I know them for many, many years. I have my best friend over 30 something years and we're still connected with all of our kids. Even the ones who come in and they have not been, they have not known you that long. You can say they are stay true like me and Melissa. I believe it's probably been maybe seven. I believe it's over seven, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think it's over seven years. And I met Melissa through my great friend, Shelly. Yes. So it's good to have some stay trues connected to your circle. And those stay trues, they will keep it 100 with you. They will tell you when you're wrong and when you're right. They will not always agree with you, but it would not cause a debate, argument, you know, they would keep it like my cousin. I want to use my cousin, Latoya Johnson. She would take your, ank your wrist and say, do you hear me? Are you listening to me? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> so um, just keep those, those stay true people next to you that help you to grow and to stay focused in your life. Stay true to self shows me I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect in human eyes because God created me. Okay? So I believe I'm perfect in God's eyes because of how he created me. He's just growing me and growing me and growing me, teaching me and teaching me. And I am teachable. I love to learn. I, Melissa, Melissa, for all who know Melissa, when you have a conversation with her, you're gonna learn, okay? You're gonna learn. <laughs> I love her. She has me on my tippy toes every time. <laughs> so um, stay true to self shows me I'm not perfect in human eyes. My experience continues to teach me and allows me to grow and to know me. I want to share a quote, a quote by Michelle Obama. And it say it speaks. It says, um, "One of the lessons that I grew up with was to always stay true to my to always stay true to yourself, and never let what somebody says distract you from your goals." I repeat, one of the lessons that I grew up with was to always stay true to yourself. And never let what somebody says distract you from your goals. Amen. That takes me back 
when I was taking care of the whole family, you know, right along my ex-husband. When I was married, when I say I went to school, I finished school, I was pregnant with our son, and I thought I was going to graduate after my class, but God, okay, having a cesarean and had to, you know, you know, ladies, and the healing part, you know, so it's, um, I had to go through all that, and I thought I was going to graduate with the next, but no, God had it all planned out. I graduated with my classmates. Now we're going to speak about stand true to God first, what I spoke about at the beginning. I was in a situation in um, <clears throat> 2001. I got caught up in a situation. And no matter what, I stayed true to Father God, no matter what the situation was. Now that I've learned that these situations that come in our lives is not our situation, don't claim it. Do not claim it. It's going to go. So I was I was caught up in a situation. Excuse me. I know Melissa said, be yourself. So sometimes we'll get a little stuck. <laughs> I stayed true to God no matter what when I was in that situation. I stayed in God's word and understood my assignment. I understood it afterwards. Because when you're in it, you say, why, 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 why? But after, you say, oh, I understand my assignment. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. If you guys want to turn to that or even read it later. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for 10 years. Be faithful, even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. I kid you not, the place where I was at, it felt like death. <laughs> my mind was not my mind. I was not, it was not me. That was not a place for me. But like I said at the beginning, my experience taught me much. I'm grateful that I experienced that. I'm truly grateful because now I can reach out to other women. I know when women and men come to me and talk about that situation, what they're in, oh, I can relate to my audience. Amen to that. So that was Revelation 2 and 10. Keep that close to you. And Revelation, we're going to go down to the next um, scripture. Um, Revelation 2, 11, he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says to the churches. I hope you guys listening to what I'm speaking, okay? Because this is some things, I told Melissa I was not gonna cry, so we'll <laughs> I'm not gonna, I've been through some things and all my, 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 my loved ones know. So that was that that would help you. Go ahead, Melissa. Melissa. We got our tissue too, honey. So go ahead Good. and let God Good. be God. I was prepared. I told you. <laughs> I've been trying my best to stay on mute, but that one I had to come off of mute and let Thank you know, you. honey. We have our tissue too. So just go ahead and let God be God. Thank you. Thank you. 
See, just love her. <laughs> we're not robots. <laughs> we're not robots, and we're not gonna act like we robots. We <laughs> right when they try to make us robots, exactly. please click here. <laughs> exactly, we're not yes. doing that. No matter. Right. Yes. So we're going to go to Matthew chapter seven, verses fifteen. Verses 15 on down to, I believe, 20, 22. Watch out for false prophets. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are fero ferocious wolves by their fruit. Okay, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thrown bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear fruit, cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter in the kingdom of heaven. I want to stop right where is um, verse 20, where is thus by their fruit, you will recognize them. So it goes back to say, please, from my understanding. We have to be careful who we allow in our circles. We have to be careful who we allow connected to us. And we wouldn't recognize them by their fruits. We can go down to Proverbs chapter three, verse 56. <clears throat> fruit in the spirit, fruit in the Lord. I'm sorry, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. How many times we leaned on our own understanding? Where do they get us? <laughs> not far, not far, probably nowhere. But like I said, when I was in that situation and leaning on my own understanding, my mind was going here. The devil was playing tricks with my mind, you know, and it was getting me confused. Like, why me? I'm up here trying to, you know, do what I do as an older sister, the oldest, and I love my family. I love to protect, you know, but God say, no, baby, no daughter. The vengeance is the Lord's. The vengeance is mine. You know, let me tell you, pray to me and watch me work. You know, so I learned that. I had to go through to learn it though. So I know, I know now. <laughs> In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. I want you to guys go to read this on your own, Jeremiah 17. Let me see. Jeremiah. I hope this message is helping someone out there today. I'm sure it is for some. So it's Jeremiah, the 17, 
verses eight, verses seven, I'm sorry. Let's see. Jeremiah, verse, Jeremiah 17, verses seven and eight. And it says, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence, I call it confidence, is in him. They will be like the tree, like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. By the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in the year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Continue to trust in the Lord, you guys, because I have to learn that. I have to stop trusting in myself, trusting in other people, just trusting in human. I have to put my all, my full trust in God. Nobody can tell me different. My trust is in God. You know, you got to be careful when you speak on something that you want to do and you know it's in your heart is the desire that you have for yourself and you speak it to someone else and they start speaking another way. My trust is in the Lord. Not you, not what you say, not myself. My trust is in the Lord. Stay true to God first, right? <laughs> All right. Um, Proverbs 16, 20. Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. Amen. So I am done, but I pray that first you will stay true to God. You will stay true to yourself. You will know yourself. You will know God. And everything else will work out fine. Continue to trust in him. Continue to stay in his word. And continue to have yourself connected with some stays truths. <laughs> I love you guys. And I thank you so much, Melissa, for asking me to come and speak on your platform. Amen. God bless you all. Amen, 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 amen. Come on, let's put some hands, some applause in the comments for our dear minister, Tamara Chappelle. We thank God for her for coming out. We thank God that she allowed God to go ahead and bless us because that's what we needed. This has been a blessing. But I, I'm not about to turn you loose that quick. Now, you, you everybody that know me I'm ought to know better than that. So a couple of things, a few things. Cause see, I got my I got my notes. See. Yeah, I see you writing. Yeah, I got That's my notes. A good thing. I had to make notes. If how can I not make notes and I'm on mute? I had to do something. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> so I got my notes. Number one, let's do a, a if you don't mind, Minister, uh, just a, a quick recap. No, she started off by telling us to stay true to self, but she also let us know that in order to stay true to self or anything else, we've got to first stay true to God. Now, minister, correct me if I'm wrong, because I am in position for rebuke. So let me know if I am wrong. So when she went on, there's a couple of golden nuggets. Thank you so much for the applause and the comments. Thank you. I got to look at my device because I got so much going on here. I might have to sweet talk my husband and get me a, <laughs> a third monitor. I don't know. But anyway, um, thank you so much. I'm looking down at my device and saw that. So a couple of nuggets that, so many nuggets, but a few nuggets that I pulled out. One of the things that I loved, uh, there's a ton of things that I loved. But just to go over a selected few, evaluate yourself regularly. Let me put a hand. Evaluate yourself regularly. That And I love how you say that's not a part of um, staying true to God. That's a part of staying true to yourself. 
checking yourself, checking yes. your own behavior. You went on down and talked about um, uh, if you go to our uh, um, replay, you know, I did a whole thing on that whole self-control. So that just hit a nerve right there when you start talking <laughs> about that self-control. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And but in but encapsulating self-control with staying true to self that 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 that's a revelation right there you Amen. know because when we think when i think about self-control yes it is controlling self yes it is you know making sure that we are inside of the will of god yes it is making sure that we are obedient to his word and yes self-control is a fruit of yes. the spirit but when you talk about how even practicing self-control as a part of being true to yourself that that's that and i i i, I go back because right now it just popped in my spirit i always go back to that prolific song from michael jackson say uh the song the man in the mirror yes i always that that song is prolific for me i don't care what nobody else say i don't care what y'all say yes. that song yes. is prolific because it is telling you it leads you right back to galatians 5 right because if you're looking at the man in the mirror first then you are observing what fruit you have and what fruit you don't have that's right but when also right. how uh marrying um self-control with staying true to self that also gives you that whole other view viewpoint of am I really doing what I should be doing concerning me? Mm -hmm. So I love that. And when you said, ooh, for all the mamas, grandmamas, sisters, servants, all of us, when you said saying no is okay. <laughs> It is. That is therapeutic. I don't know about anybody else, but that is therapeutic to be able to say no. Yes. Yes. Because in, in my area of the vineyard, I meet a lot of folk that just <laughs> had a problem with that, that two letter word. They can't say no to nothing. And it's gotten them in some horrible horrible positions under some horrible horrible circumstances and yes. when you talk about staying true to self it's also knowing that saying no is okay yes that could release a lot of bondage because there are a lot of people we need to say no to yes there are yes. a lot of things so true. we need to say no to now let's go down to the heart of what what, what First of all, that saying no, I want to link it if that's okay. I want to link it to when you say do things for for yourself first, and then the the things that you do for people, do it for meaningful people. Mm -hmm. Now, I want us to just put a a, a, a pin right there because we're gonna come back and, and we're gonna really elaborate on that. Come on, but I love how you brought out saying. Uh, doing things for meaningful people because that that could trip us up but let me go down just a bit two more points i want to bring out when you said having self-control when you talked about having self-control also has to do with money and time management yes spoke to me loud and clear <laughs> i am a i'm definitely um I'm definitely at a better position, like you talked about seeing yourself now as how you were several years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm at a better position. I'm on a better playing field when it comes down to being a good steward over yeah. my funds, right? Because before, when I wasn't doing things for men meaningful people, okay, I was spending money that I shouldn't have been spending on Come folk. On that wasn't going to appreciate nothing. So here I am, I get to a point where I'm in a bind because I've been helping so up so many others and the others that I was helping was not good ground. They weren't what you call meaningful people. So I'm helping, but I'm helping on a follow ground. No seed is being planted, so I can't even reap a harvest. Come on. 
and I'm looking up and I'm broke. Mm. We don't like that word. I said broke, can't, that's not in my vocabulary. And it ain't supposed to be in our lifestyle. But right. when we are misappropriating our funds. Mm-hmm. Uh, my uh, pastor used to say, I'm broke. Uh, uh, how did he say it? Lord, I'm broke as Job's turkey. I didn't <laughs> understand that at first. I had to really meditate on that thing. And then after I meditated on it a while, I'm like, oh, yeah, because when Job, Job lost everything. So his turkey, his turkey will be bones because he lost everything. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, that. Uh, it took a minute like for me that. to get that. I'm like, wow. it's Job's turkey. So when I finally got, I'm like, dang, you real broke. <laughs> you real broke, you know. Right. But you that money careful. management pays. Now, I learned time management by experience, not by teaching. How do, am mm-hmm. I saying that right? Yes. Because, you know, some lessons you learn because someone has taught you. Right. And some lessons you learn is because life experience mm-hmm. yes. has taught you. So the time management I learned by experience, life experience. And I like how you brought that out. I didn't never, I wouldn't have never put it, you know, with staying true to myself, though. Mm-hmm. You know, but I did find out that God is not happy with us busy being busy. He's Doing not nothing. happy with that. You're so busy and you and you're enjoying all this busyness, mm-hmm. but all you are is busy. Nothing doing you're nothing. doing is in was is in your line of purpose. Nothing you're doing is even in your vein of the of your ministry in the vineyard, but you're mm-hmm. just busy. And you're busy. No, I was busy. I like to make things personal. Yes. I was busy pleasing folk in the church. I was busy making sure I, I'm, I'm leaving husband. I'm leaving kids behind so I can get to church. I ain't nothing stopping me from going to church. Ain't nothing. And I'm at Thank church, <laughs> at church, exhausted. Can't even tell you what word was preached because I'm so tired. But if I had to listen and stayed at home, you know, read my word, spent time with the family, I could have got some rest. Yes. So my purpose of going to church was not for God. My purpose was for going to church or being busy. It was for the pleasing of man. So the man could say, yes, she's always here. She's uh, that. No, 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 no. Because God is saying, but what are you doing for me? Mm -hmm. What are you doing for me? So I, I, I appreciate that, minister. I appreciate that. And then lastly... The, that circle of stay truths. <laughs> that just hit me when I was doing my draft. <laughs> yes, that circle of stay truths. Let me tell you, my circle seems to get smaller and smaller. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> and There's nothing wrong you, with it. I don't try to make it smaller, but it does seem to get smaller and smaller. But those, mm, those. Yes. Uh, that yet uh, uh, remain (laughs) are my truths and I thank God for that and you're right even in your circles of truths I have uh uh well I we talk every day and she get a little indignant with me when I don't talk to her (laughs) so so now she's far beyond sister I mean far beyond friend excuse me she's she said, she that baby sister that kind of like get on your nerves. Like, I don't want to talk to you, so I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. I don't want to talk to you, so I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. That type of craziness. Yes. So one of the things about her and our relationship is that she knows when she tell me some crazy stuff, I'm going to fuss her out. But she will tell you. I know she's going to fuss me out, but I'm going to tell her because I want her to know. Because I also know in the midst of her fussing me out, she's going to tell me what is right. She's going to yes. tell me what is just. And she's going to pray for me. Yes. I need folk that's going to tell me when I'm acting a fool. I need yeah. folk that's going to tell me when I'm out of order. But I yes. also need them same folk to be going before God on my behalf. Come on. And you did not, like I spoke earlier, you want them to be as you are, not exactly as you are, but what you just said, you want them to pray for you. You want them to keep it 100 with you. You want them to speak in honesty. You know, don't agree with me when you know 
Do you feel that I'm wrong yeah. or out of order? You know, it's probably mm-hmm. something I'm saying to myself that, you know, it's like, okay, am I, I'm coming to you for a reason. You yeah. know, just as they come to us, they yeah. coming to us for a reason because they want the truth. Exactly. So your true, your stay truths going to keep it true with you as well. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So this has thoroughly, I, I had to, I, I stay, I've stayed silent long enough. So I had to, I wanted to make sure I didn't want to wreck your flow. No, no, no. I wanted God to give us what we needed. And he has done that, just that. Amen. And I'm sure that everyone that was able, and even our replay viewers, I'm sure you will be blessed by this word. Make sure when you go back, if you go back and um listen to the replay, go back with pen and paper in hand because mm-hmm. she gave scriptures to back everything yeah. she was saying. So make sure you do that. Also, let me go ahead and share my screen for those that may want to connect. Because see, here's the thing about Sister Mel. Sister Mel ain't trying to hoard nothing, not even friends. Come on. You hear me? So I, I share everything. Share my friends. I share everything. So just in oh, case, man. just in case you want to connect on the screen, you will find all of her uh, social media outlets or platforms that you can reach out to her with. She has her email address listed there. Uh, she is open and she does not limit God. She she is what we, we learned today, one who stays true to self and true to God. So if you have or need or just want to connect with someone else in the vineyard that is doing the work of the Lord, as she mentioned here in her bio and also in her um, speaking on today, she mentioned that her vein in the vineyard, she know her lane and she in it. And that yes. is to women and children. That's her ministry. So yes. let's, if you need help or if you want advice or if you just want to reach out and just talk to her and, and find out how she's handling things, you can do that because she's not a shame. She is just as transparent as I am. Yes. She will share with you. Trust and know that. Trust and know that. Amen. Amen. Now, there's something else that we're doing this month. We're going to switch, uh, but we're coming back to when you say share, stay true to self and give to meaningful people. What we are doing for this month, as we did each year prior to COVID, we will have gift bags that we will be giving out to our women. Now, what we used to do, and you were uh, one of our volunteers in our first launch of the woman to woman and what we used to do we used to gather uh gently used purses and we will fill them with toiletry items and now under the direction of god and just utilizing god's wisdom we know that we are still in a pandemic and there are people still getting sick Uh, Mm -hmm. there are still people being hospitalized and guess what saints of god it's vaccinated non-vaccinated every this pandemic is no joke and the enemy ain't playing so uh, i'm not speaking for or against either what i am saying is it's out there and it is happening so with that in mind instead of having our large event where we would go out to all of the places um that we know that have um homeless communities What we are asking, and this gives a broader scope as well, what we are asking is that each of you will create your own gift bags and go ahead, put those uh, those necessary items, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, mouthwash, washcloth. Those are things that are needed. Socks, those are things that are needed. And then along with those toiletry items, uh, uh, sanitary napkins for women, um, uh, deodorant, things are just coming through my head. Those things are needed. Put those in a bag, baggy freezer bags. I found that the freezer bags work. I got that from another ministry partner. She was putting them in the, the zip freezer bags. That worked. And they're yes, easy to pass out that way. Along with that, though, what we would like for you to do, if you can, only if you can, we would like for you to have like the little cup of suits. We learned by ministering to those communities that the cup of noodle soups are easier for them as far as getting something hot in their bellies, right? 
because they can go to any gas station, any convenience store and use the little hot water vial to get hot water and not get in any trouble. They're not, you know, causing any uh, confusion or anything like that. They go in, get their little hot water, they come on out. And then they can eat that noodles, put a little spoon of what they call them, smorks, smorks or whatever, a spoon for a combination in your, in your gift bag and give it to them. And always, always, and this is one of the things that I learned when me and uh, Minister Chappelle first went out together. We combined our ministries, as all should. Yes, we combined our you. ministries <laughs> and we went out. And one of the things she constantly talked about, what well, she constantly said, and I quote, water is life. And she would say that over and over again, water is life. And of course, for those of us who are stewards of the word, when we hear that, we hear the scripture that says, I will give you living water. Yes. Right? And so when she was saying that, that scripture always came back to my mind. So it's easy to keep that, that, that um, saying in my head, but she's right. Because if the body is hydrated, the body will stay healthy. You can go longer without food than you can without yes, water. Yes. yes. So it's, water is indeed life. And trust me and know, because we've been in the trenches, the homeless community, those that are in need and homeless, they appreciate water. They appreciate yes, they it. So what we like to do in the summertime, <clears throat> we keep a cooler in the backseat of our truck, fill it with ice, so uh, cold water. When you're at that stoplight, when you're on that Walmart lot, when you, if you, if you are ones, because I know there are sons that, like myself, may not go to the stores as often. But whenever you're out, doctor's appointment, it's going to be somebody at a stoplight that's, that's right. going to need to be helped. Trust me. So if you have your little gift bag, you just reach back. You, you, you don't even have to let your window all the way down. You can put your mask on, pass it, sanitize, keep it pushing. But you've been a blessing. And when you are a blessing, you will be blessed. It is a blessing in being a blessing. So let's keep that in mind. So that's what we're going to be doing this month. We actually do it on a regular basis, but we like to push that initiative in uh, the month of August and the month of February. August is our women's charity begins at home, women to women's uh, outreach. And then February is our charity begins at home. I am my brother's keeper. Yeah. So those are the two events. Um, do you have anything coming up that you would like to announce, uh, Minister Chappelle? Uh, no, we just had our first meeting this year in the city of LA because we are city to city looking to be state to state. Um, <clears throat> but we just had our big one co-ed in the city of LA July 9th of last month and it was great. Amen. But I do have a ministry for kids as I spoke before and it's called Act Like a Kid, Be Like a Kid because a lot of these children do not know how to stay in a child's place. Yeah. Sometimes it is not their fault. Amen. You know, some of us parents may need the older ones to um, watch their younger siblings and, you know, go do this, do it, put a lot on them. And I'm guilty, you know, so I'm not going to downgrade anyone because mm -hmm. my oldest baby girl, she helped me out so much. I didn't even have to ask. It was just the love of her mother and her siblings that she seen that it was help that was needed. Mm -hmm. So, but if you're that parent that's constantly putting pressure on the kid and not taking some time out with them to have fun, mm -hmm. fun activities, park, kids love parks, simple yeah. things in life. We used to go to the park all the time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, be happy to see the swings. Right. <laughs> you know, but these kids nowadays, they don't get it. They either stuck in the uh, video games and it's, it's when you can go outside, if you have a yard, little park now, the parks are open. I still don't let my kids get on the bars and stuff, mm -hmm. germs, yes. but right. picnic, picnic, right. run around, right. play with your own balls, you know, just have fun, jump rope, mm -hmm. you know. I've learned that my children, it was two of them, the youngest ones, didn't know how to jump rope during the pandemic. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. So on my YouTube, if you go, you will see all of us jumping. Mm -hmm. It was a workout for me, but it was fun. <laughs> You know, I, I connected with a group. It's called Jump Jump Something on Facebook. And you jump and you record it and you post it and share it to their group. Okay. But that's when I discovered that they didn't know how to jump. So now they, everybody know how to jump. Amen. You know, it's fun. It's a workout. But Amen. little things like that. Let a kid be a kid. Act like Amen. a kid, be like a kid. So I do that starting up next month. I started um, April but by me moving from LA to Victorville, it kind of, you know, put some things back. And I started, uh, I will start it back up next month is every second and fourth uh, Saturday. Okay. Saturday. It might change, mm -hmm. but I'm already connected with some great parents, um, Amen. grandparents Amen. with my kids' school. So, yeah. All right. Well, we'll keep that in mind. And, and we all we've already seen your social media and email um, information. So we thank God for that. Um, without further ado, let me say to you, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, I was told that, you know, I've been I'm, I'm a good teacher to uh, not teacher. Mm -mm. Student. <laughs> I'm a good student. Teacher, too. <laughs> so. Now, those that, that know me, know me, know that this is, you know, this is just me being obedient to God. This is not something that I normally do, but this is me being obedient to God. So let me go ahead and post this here. Um, first of all, thank you to everyone that joined us today and also to our replay viewers. As I mentioned to you before, we are going out. We are blessing others. Amen. So, Fuel by Hope Evangelistic Ministry does have options that you can use to donate. I do get text messages. I do get inboxes saying, I want to help, but I'm not in your area. I'm not, you know, so I can't come and volunteer. And I normally just tell them, oh, yeah, well, you can, you know, you can send the PayPal, you can, you know, but now out of obedience, we now have it here on, on the screen for you <laughs> and i still know how that dollar sign went and don't we ain't gonna even talk about it we're gonna leave that one alone that's it we're gonna we're not gonna worry about that one right now but just know this fuel by hope is a nonprofit organization we're not playing no games all we're trying to do is advance the kingdom of God. I don't have a kingdom agenda. I have a God agenda. And mm -hmm. it's God's kingdom that we are trying to advance. No one else's. Everything you give, whether you give 25 cents or whether you give $25, any and everything you give, it goes right back into giving to those in need. Trust and know that. Does not go in my purse does not go in my savings account, does not go in my husband's wallet. Trust me, I've been in my husband's wallet for this ministry more than anything. More than anything. Trust me, and no, he, and he won't tell it. I'm telling it. You know? But everything goes right back to those in need. Why? Because we know our assignment here in the earth. Our assignment Amen. is to feel hope encourage faith and show godly love and this is how yeah. we do this is how we do it amen as a matter of fact um minister chappelle and all her anointing she decided to volunteer it yes and i bless god for that i bless god yeah. for that. and i love people that are willing to do that speaking of that on the 27th we got another power pack minister that's going to come and bless us and she's she's Mother teacher will learn more about her in the upcoming weeks, but she's going to come and speak to us as well because she too has a ministry that is dealing with definite, uh, exactly what we're dealing with. It, ways of finding the me that I lost. And one of the best ways of finding the me that you lost is to start being true to yourself. Amen. Start being true to God. And then the thing about it is, once we begin to be, see, I got my notes, everything. Once we begin to be true to God and true to ourselves, then we can, Minister Tamara, 
exhale in God's arm. Because we'll relax. We'll just lay out. Because now we're we're true. We're honest. We're open. We're free. We're free from the bondage. So we thank God for that. Yes. Lastly, again, 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 thank you so much for joining us. Can you go ahead and close us out in prayer? Yes, 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 yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for using Melissa to bring me here, to bring us here, to feed everyone who came on this morning to receive what it is that saves the Lord. Father, I ask you to continue to help us, help us to stay yeah. true to you first yes. and stay true to self before we can be true to anyone else. And we just thank you and we love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As always, if this message has been a blessing to you, we thank you for your comments. We thank you for your likes. We yes. thank you for um, mm-hmm. just being here. And we thank you for the replay to all our replay viewers. But if this message you feel is something that can help those that you are assigned to, I'm a, we're only assigned to those that follow us. You are assigned to the ones that follow you. If you feel that this message is something that will bless those that follow you, then by all means, share it out. Yes. Why? Because good ideas are meant to be shared and the word of God has to be shared so that men, women, boys, and girls can be saved. Amen. Amen. All right. So we see you next week. Same time, same station. Uh, Minister Chappelle, I want you to sit tight. And until we meet again, may the grace of God and camp you, may the mercy of God protect you and may the peace of God comfort you always. Be encouraged and know that you are blessed. Amen. Amen. Love you. Hold true. Oh, stay true.